Hello guys, 3D Nerd here. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to use materials in this Japanese bathroom. It's really simple, there are only four materials and of course no, the lighting. That's the really important thing here. And without losing time, I would like to go further. So here's the scene. And for the moment, there are no materials on it, nothing. As we can see, I will start start uh, interacting rendering. Already, this is from 3ds Max the lightning, and from Tom mapping there is nothing changed. So, and now I would like to to use first the materials from the floor. I will stop this. I will open. You can click M to open the materials or click here. That's not a problem. First, I will. I need a Corona sky. Corona, Corona Sky. Then I would like to open the render setup. I would like to add this Corona Sky here. And now we can see that it's a bit, it's of course, it's better now. The lighting is much more better. Then somehow this did move. I would like to. Yeah, let's continue further. I will stop this. Or no, I won't stop this. The next thing is that I would like to add a background, which we will add here. For example, there is a black background. I will go to Corona, bitmap, into downloads. I already downloaded this. You can find a lot of HDRs on Polyhaven. Just click and open. After that, I would like, first thing I would like to add first here, as an instant, then you can grab it here, an instant, instant, why an instant, because anything I change, it will change also here. And then I would like to add the color correction, you can see here, I would like to rotate first this, so minus 300, yes. And then I would like the brightness to be more bright because if you make a photo from inside, so from interior, outside you see really less. And that's it. Why it doesn't change? Because the color correction is not added here. So first we add it here and then we just move it as an instant. And now you can see it's much more hellish, much, it's much more nat natural. Good. Then I would like to add the the, the the floor here and we need to stop this uh, if you don't have it you have to install this it's really simple it's free it's the floor generator here you have it and then I would like to make like in rendering for example here and here is two like two centimeter with 500 Yes, and then I would like to change also the loot. If you go to perspective mode, you can see what I'm talking about. You can see here, they're really... So then I would like to go here to 0 0.5. Also here to bevel, like 0 0.25, and that's it. And here we have it. Yes, and if we will start the interaction rendering, we can see now, much more clear. Good. The next thing is to add materials. That's a, that's really important because that changes everything. For this, I would like to use just a simple here from the Chaos Cosmos. You don't have to buy it, but uh, some materials which I used here, they are also from Polyhaven. But this I was found really good and I would like to use it. Yes, this one. I already added to the add, add like so I don't have to search for it. Of course. There it is. Corona color corrector. Good. And here I used like the brightness a bit to be brighten and also this the saturation a bit not to be so so warm colors 0 0.1 
Yeah, that looks good. I will click here and I will add it. The color, of course, that's not good because we need the UV mapping. Then we go to UV mapping. And there I would like to leave it as a box and add like 300, 300, 300. But still it's not good. Why? Because we have to rotate the mapping. I will click here, that is this, and sorry. Yes. And now it's much more natural, yes. Good. So next thing I would like to add the color to the bath tube. I will stop first this, I will go here to materials and I will add the corona, corona physical material. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Then I would like to click this, this bath tube and add this material. Now you could add the materials like maps corona bitmap or you can just drag it. I usually just drag it, doesn't change that much. Color to color. I need now the the glossiness. Yes, that's it. Then I would like to add the normal mapping, which you have it. Yep, that's it. Normal mapping, it's here. Yep. I'll like click Corona, Corona normal because we need this. Add it here and to the base bump. And something else, do I need something else? Yeah, the displacement we could add it. I'm sorry, just a second. Yes. Of course, then we need a we need the for this corona to add the gamma input as you can see here it's not right. So click add to the gamma input and now it's fine. And now we'd like to start uh, interaction rendering. Yes, it's too dark. Now we'd like to make it a bit brighter. Corona, color correction. We just add here and then we make it bit brighter and of course also the saturation. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Next is we like to rotate the mapping. I would like to stop this or we can also leave it. We add the UV mapping first. And we say like this is Let's say that's box, let's say like 200, 200, 200, or smaller, so we see the box first, how to rotate, and then we could, sorry, we have to click here to the gizmo. Yes, we check here, we could make a region, we see only this part will be rendered. And now it looks good, now it looks good, and now I will go higher with with the mapping. Yes. So we have more details. That's good. The next what I would add here is my corona, corona around edges. That the edges doesn't look so sharp. You can see here it's a bit too much strength. We have to a bit to avoid them to not be that hard we will use like like a one centimeter maybe and we will check the interaction rendering oh hello it is yeah it's in use you can see it looks really smooth really simple good we could add if we want this one here that to look more natural additional bumping Good, the next is the next is the wall. So corona, corona physical material, 
then if we, if we stop the interaction rendering we go to the scene make sure you go away from here to then we add the bitmap I, I will just drag and drop the textures and that's it actually yeah the color sorry just a second I have to find it first yes here it is oops yep then base color then I would like to add the uh, glossiness of course then I would like to add the normal mapping then you click like always corona corona normal base bump and that's it for the moment you could add also this here but also we could add also the corona around edges like this and we could do also here the really simple yeah and we could add this one here this has also like a one centimeter also and we have to add the gamma input of course and we'll start uh, interaction rendering right now looks not bad but of course we had to add the uv mapping which is really important it's a box and we will add like 100 Yeah, that looks that looks good that looks good but of course there is a bit shiny we will take the shine a bit away we click to the material and we see that this has a one that is not too much and here I would like to say like a zero yes and of course we we need to add a color correction because it's too dark just click here and here and then and then we go to the color correction and we'll say that the brightness should be like one here yes it's already looking good good we start with the with the other materials for example the ceiling we go to corona corona physical materials like always we click the material we stop the interaction rendering that we work faster and we add this i'm just going to to drag and drop this here the displacement the roughness and of course the corona normal for the base bump and we drag here and drop okay that's good and now we start the interaction rendering and we see what is going on there of course that's a bit higher sorry first we need the uv mapping and then we add like a planer and we say like 200 200 looking good for the moment then we would like to of course the corona color correction yeah we click here and we add it also here and we said like this should be really brighter that's good and we add this also that we have more pumping but of course we have to move this a bit lower so that the 
lines are closed. Things, yeah, I think now it's good. That looks really good for the moment, as you can see from the photo. We will take this, but then we we have we have to add also some artificial lighting that is looks much more better. Next, I would like to add the color to the window. But before I add the color to the window, I would like to add here, yes, this one, like 0 0.2 maybe, but this is more, hell yeah, this looks much more better. Yeah, this looks good now. Good. Now I would like to show you how I added this, these stones, it's really simple. We stop first this, we click this one, we go here, we go to the Cosmo, go to online and home, you can go to the preset and just drag this and drop. We have to change some stuff, some materials. And also, we click to the corona, we stop this, and we click also this here with the shift and delete all the materials. We need, we don't need this, we don't need this either. I'm gonna add the stones by myself. 3D models, vegetation, floor, grass, and rocks. Good. Then we go to the to find the perfect rocks which we need. For the scene, I think this one, this one, and this one. Yes, that looks good. We go back. Now we like to add this to our scene. First, we click this one. You see, we have already on it. We need the stones now. As you can see, the stones are really big. We go there and we say that this we need really small so that we could work with it. I, I will start the interaction rendering so we can see it. What I'm talking about, and of course, we need to, to go to the camera. And I must, I want to make sure that this is locked. You see, they are huge and too dark for the scene because already these are brighter and they shine much more. Good, now I would like that to to go to, to stop this. I would like to go to the corona and here I would like to make like 20 to 30. You see, already they are smaller. We can start the interaction rendering and see it once again. They, they look really good for the moment, they look really good. Now, what I would like to do is to pick the materials from the stone and change them a bit. That's really important because the stones are way too dark. For example, we have here one. Uh, yeah, this, this one is it. Corona color correct. And I would like to go with the brightness. You can see it already there, these stones. I would like to add uh, this one and I would like to change this. But they are more glossy. And now, as you can see, I will go with the roughness really low. These are really shiny, you see, already changed it, this looks beautiful. And I would like to continue further picking the materials. Yes, this is the next one. Move the, the glossiness there away, copy, add, and that's it. Now we can see here more, yeah. The stones are changing the color now. They look much more better. Okay. 
that next is the middle one then. Good. Anyway, we, we don't need this. We take another again. The way I do it, I just click, sh hold, shift, and drag. That's it. We don't need more. Of course, we have to do it shiny and also in this one. Good. For the moment they look really good, as you can see, they're shiny. That's good, but now I want to show you how I do this. How I that I say that these stones don't touch the the, the, the wood tiles. I will go like this, I will go to standard uh, splines, hold the line, hold shift, and just move it like this. And then with the right click to end the process. Next, I'm going to click the, the Corona Scatter or Chaos Scatter. Then I'm going to move down, really down there, and Spline Exclude. Click the, the line, so click the plus and click the lines, good. As you can see, already the stones are going away. That's good. We click one more time the plus and then we set from zero to three centimeters. Should be more away, as you can see here. That's good. Next, I'm going to add the color, which I use it for the bath tube. I'm going to add to the window because this is also from wood. Now I click this, I make it this bigger with holding Alt and W and click the window, click the material, add it and it's here, this is looking good. Next thing what I would like to do is now working with Corona Lighting. Lighting, Corona, Corona Light. Yes, first this one here, let's check, now we need really the Corona lighting here. I will say that this is like a rectangle and I will like to rotate this a bit like this. I will make it a bit bigger like 100 and 100 and then I would like to move it a bit higher. You can see here and of course a bit also rotation. It's looking good. We see it here. I will make it smaller so we see a comparison. It's looking really good for the moment. Next, I would like to add another corona color. Uh, sorry, lighting. And I would like to click this here. And add here. Of course, we have to move it a bit higher. And we can see that's a bit too bright. And there I will say that this has like a, okay, 40. But of course it's too big. Because also you can change the intensity here, but if it is bigger, even if it is really low intensity, it's still brighter. So for the moment looks really good. Yes, and then... I would like to go, yes, I, I must change the color of this door there, but also there is inside a lightning, as you can see here. And then you can just click here, hold shift and drag and copy, not as an instance, because then it will change. You go like this, you make it really smaller, click, remove it. You'll see here a lightning, yes, that's good. I would like the visibility to go away. And I would like to go to front view. 
by clicking F and move it here. Yes, for the moment it looks really good. Next, what we need is this door. As you can see here. Yes, this material for the door. I will, it's really simple. Sorry, yeah. I need the color which I used before. Click this one, hold shift and drag it. And the next is I must stop the interaction render so I can work faster. Click this and add this one here. Okay, sometimes, yeah. And then drag one more time as a copy, leave this zero, and then click on the other materials by grow. Then we could we could deselect this that the frames is a bit darker. That's it. Sorry, and now we are here and we have also this lighting now. I would like that this lightning, also the ceiling is lighted, and this way, but uh, no, it doesn't look good. Yeah, I mean it looks really good, no, what I would like to add is not, I want to check if the textures are really good here, yeah, that looks really good, now I would like to add the um, the trees here in a really simple way. Go to top view, go here. I already liked it here that I have it in my scene. Yes, I use this one. Go away and move it to the scene. Uh, this could be here. Of course, it's a bit too high. Then I copied it, made it a bit smaller one, move it to another view as an instance you can do it, and here you have it. And that's it. Now we have also here this green thing, the bamboos, and then I would like to go one more time, pick this one, move it here. As an instance, see, it looks really good. We can make it a bit bigger. We could make another one as a copy, make it smaller. Okay, because I've moved too far away, then we don't see the camera. But yeah, no, it looks really good. The next thing actually is just a decor, nothing else. I would like also here to stop it, make this as a big view. Choose the furniture, no sofas, tables, accessories. Okay, could add the books. We could make the books smaller. Good, then we could add them also. That's good. What I need is now from the furniture. Mm. Uh, where did I find this? Accessories decoration, I think. Uh, yeah, I just have to scroll down to search for it. Mm. Yes, this one. I will move it here. Looking good. And some candles, and that's it actually. Yeah, make a copy as an instance, make it a bit smaller that looks more natural. Click this view, 
go here, change it. This one also. This one also. Sorry. That's it. And then uh, sorry, I think yes. I used the I took a towel from from a 3D website for the towel, so that looks good. A bit. smaller move it here of course I, I have to change the color we can see in, turn, in the interaction rendering yes and of course I have to go to render setup go to the camera and lock it of course this is not the color which we are looking for it's, I would like to have a white one, really simple materials, clothing. Mm. Some uh, fabric, not clothing. And just drag and drop. We already selected the towel, so. and just add and that's it and here it is guys this is the scene in really simple way when you render it it will be really really good for example the contrast like four there or three and you can add them in photoshop and just look much more better if you want to make some color correction or anything but I won't touch more I won't do more thing here I will just go with the saturation a bit lower 50 but that's it this is how you can use the text source here you can see it's it's really easy it's not that hard and so far I'm done and if you guys have any questions you could write on the comment below I will try to answer or if you would like to see it, how I model this this room uh, just let me know in the comment below and and don't forget please subscribe to the channel okay guys thank you for watching it and if you have any comment please write below and I will like and I will answer them. Thank you and have a nice day.